Make that big boss less special It ain't no game, but they say I'm Welcome to the second level Drinking this poison for him. Bottoms up. Whatever is the matter, put in your selfie. Tequila Works have put together a very interesting title for VR that is a unique experience to me, and I believe to all VR users that are brave enough to take part in this interactive murder mystery. The Invisible Hours is an interactive, narrative-driven version of a classic murder mystery story. You take a unique role in the story as a floating, ghost-like entity that can control time and placement during the tale as it plays out, uncovering secrets as you go. It starts off innocently enough, with a lot of the overall vibe reminding me of the story And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. You follow Gustav Gustav, so good they named him twice, a detective invited to the mansion of Nikola Tesla, one of many invites, some of which you will recognize, like Thomas Edison. Some you may not. It has a wonderful aesthetic and likes to play around with the idea of following a harrowing tale with real historical figures involved. A particular highlight for me was watching Thomas Edison beat the crap out of a chess robot created by Tesla as it manages to checkmate him in two turns. The time mechanic is super important to utilize correctly. To get the full story, you need to do a lot of rewinding time and following different characters to see if you're missing any private moments that may give away clues to the mystery of the murder. Finding these moments is actually a thrill. The first time I saw a guy poke his head around the corner whilst I was tuned into a different conversation, only to catch him dark back around and then jump over and follow him, rewind his story, and see what led up to him hiding in the first place, it felt awesome. Why won't you talk to me, Lord? How many times do I have to confess to you? I sinned. I murdered. Or watching a character laugh manically after removing her nose in the privacy of her room. Yes, you heard that right. Removing her nose. The plot thickens, right? <laughs> Letters are scattered around the house that can unleash more of the tale. Movement is fluid enough that jumping around and picking up these bits and pieces is a breeze. It's a two-move controller setup. One of my favorite parts of that is that not only is movement relatively easy to control, think Solace Project but with teleportation mixed in, but the controllers, when represented on screen, have a cool steampunk influence to them. You feel like you're genuinely holding a piece of lost Tesla invention history. After a chapter is finished, you go to an outer area of the map that allows you to check and see where you were during all periods of that chapter, where the characters were if you saw them during your time. It even allows you to pick up a character and go back to a particular piece of their story and maybe try to take a different route. And as I mentioned this before, if you want the whole story, you're going to need all the information you can get. Best described as an interactive VR play that tasks you with being in the right place at the right time a lot. I had a huge amount of fun with The Invisible Hours. It may not be a graphical powerhouse, but the gameplay loop is addictive and thrilling. It's also a more relaxed pace game. You won't be working up a sweat in here at all, just grilling your brain a lot. Stop! 
the price point of $30 is about fair. You may want to wait a bit if you aren't a fan of games like Agatha Christie or Sherlock Holmes, but if you enjoy a good whodunit, you could do far worse than this. VR just takes it to the next level. Help. Help. This game is not for everybody, but if any of the above of the accompanying footage sounds like a good time to you, it is absolutely worth a shot. Check out The Invisible Hours on PSVR today. Feel free to share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching. Second level.